This is Randy Bomer of the University of North Texas, and I'm the author with Beth Malik of the University of Texas at Austin of Lessons for Leaders on the Preparation of Literacy Educators. This is an insights column for the Journal of Literacy Research. Beth and I are both administrators in colleges of education, Beth at the University of Texas at Austin, I at University of North Texas. And over the past few years, we've been working with colleagues from across the United States and with the uh, Literacy Research Association's Research Committee on a project that's called Site ITEL. That's an acronym and it stands for a Critical, Interactive, Transparent and Evolving Literature Review in Initial Teacher Education in Literacy. It's on the internet and you can see it at site, C-I-T-E dot E-D-B dot U-Texas dot E-D-U. From this work on this database online, we have, uh, have div- uh, gathered a collection of critical literature reviews for a special issue of JLR. They are about varied domains in teacher education, including reading processes, children's literature, tutoring or mentoring, ri- the writing in teacher preparation, uh, sociocultural responsiveness, uh, and sustaining pedagogies in teacher education. We thought, looking across this issue, that one audience for this work might be College of Education deans, associate deans, and department chairs. And so Beth and I read through these articles with our hats as administrators on, and we, in, the, in, in this commentary, we discussed four points of leverage where we think leaders might be able to make a difference. One, is, one area is mediated field experiences. A second area is curriculum in teacher education. A third area is faculty development. And fourth is the external reputation of colleges of education. We've learned from writing this and we hope you find it interesting.